All right, guys, so today I'm going to be talking about the behind-the-back one-hander deke. If you played NHL 14, uh, the controls are pretty much exactly the same, and you've probably seen this deke before. Um, it's probably the biggest fancy boy deke in the game. Um, it's pretty difficult uh, to get used to pulling off, um, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it today. There's also this variation of the deke where you don't go behind your back, but it is the same controls. Um, so here you're going to roll your right stick down to about 5 o'clock for a right-hander, 7 o'clock for a lefty. Um, hold L1, and then tap your sticks inside and outside. So right stick to 9 o'clock, and left stick to 3 o'clock simultaneously, and then your right stick to 3 o'clock and left stick to 9 o'clock simultaneously. So it sounds very complicated. Um, once you get used to it, though, it's really not too difficult. Uh, the hardest thing is going to be um, actually timing it right in-game to beat defenders, which I'm going to show you guys how to do here. So if you want to look at my sticks at the bottom right of the screen, uh, you'll see the sticking here. So down to 5 o'clock, hold L1, and then sticks inside, and then sticks outside. Obviously, if you're a left-hander, it's going to be down to 7 o'clock with the right stick, hold L1, and then sticks outside and inside, as opposed to, you know, as a right-hander going inside, then outside. And you, you actually can do this, Deke, if you saw there, um, the left stick actually doesn't have to go over to 9 o'clock, but I usually do do both sticks just because it feels more comfortable doing them both in than both out for me. Um, but the left stick, you can actually just leave it on the right side there and then go left, right with the right stick if you want, if that's easier for you. Um, and here I'll show you the other way to do it. <clears throat> I, I haven't really totally figured out how to consistently get this one to work every time. Um, but it seems to have something to do with the direction you're skating and how far you pull the right stick back. So if you don't pull the right stick back far enough and you're skating kind of straight, uh, you seem to get this deke um, most of the time. Um, and also, as you saw, you can actually go up and manual slap shot the puck when it's loose after you pull off the deke um, for style points, and it just looks really cool. And uh, in that first clip that I showed, I uh, was able to pull it off in a shootout against a human goalie. So anyway, here's a couple clips um, of me and some of my teammates using it in-game. Here I'm using it in the neutral zone. The best way to pull this deke off is to make sure that you don't have any back checking. So if there's anyone behind you, they're probably going to poke the puck away. Um, the other key is to make sure that your player has good hands. So you'll notice most of these clips, you know, I've got Petrangelo and Backstrom. Here I did this play in EASHL with a two-way dangler. But yeah, you need you need a high-skilled player to pull this off here with Backstrom in the shootout. And you need lots of lots of space, lots of time. Here with Goudreau entering the zone, I found it it works pretty well. I was Almost able to get a couple really pretty goals off of it. So yeah, I mean, I'd say most of the time I really don't end up getting much good out of this deke. But when you do pull it off, it's just awesome. Here I just absolutely undress this guy at the blue line. It's one of the most satisfying deeks to pull off when you beat a guy with it. Here, I wanted this so bad. Um, and I was able to get the OT winner, but look at this one. This one's perfect. And then finally, on online versus play, I was able to directly get a goal off this dangle for the game-winning goal with 30 seconds left in the third period. That felt pretty awesome. So anyway, guys, uh, that is the one hand behind the back deke.